So now we're going to continue from where we left off in the last challenge. And what we did was we created a scale to set the y coordinates of these points. And what we're going to do in this video is we're going to use the y scale as well as the x scale to plot these coordinates using SVG circle elements, much like the example. So I really recommend you look at the last challenge to figure out how we did this example right here, because it's a very similar process that we're going to do now. So it says here it wants us to use the X and Y scale to position some circles and some label text onto the SVG canvas. And for the circles, it wants us to set the CX and CY using the scales. And it wants a radius of five units. So I think we're gonna set the radius first. So to do this, we'll call the attribute method. And we want to set R for the radius to five. Next, we need to set the X coordinate. And to do this, we'll set the CX attribute. It's kind of like what we did over here. And secondly, we'll give it a function that takes in a set of coordinates like this. And what we want to do is we want to call the X scale method to find the correct coordinate. And then we want to give it this value right here, which is at set zero. And we want this to be returned. And now we're going to set the y coordinate. And to do this, we'll call attribute again with cy this time. We'll give it a function that takes in a set of coordinates. And this time we want to use the y scale to, and we're passing in the y coordinate this time, which is at index one. So it'll be set one. So this is kind of like what we did over here with these. Again, if you look at the previous video, I explained this in a lot of detail. So now that's the circles rendered now. So you can see them all out here. If I just to make this a bit smaller, all the circles have been drawn. So now we just need to set the label text. And for the text, the attributes we're setting are just called X and Y, not C, X and C, Y. And what we want to do this time is it says the label should be offset to the right of the dots. So we need to add 10 units before we use the X scale. So we're going to be doing this again, but we want to make sure we add 10 units beforehand so that we can move the label just to the right of the coordinate. And now we also need to set the Y coordinate and that's, that's just called Y. And this, the y, y coordinate will be exactly the same as the Y coordinate of the circle because the text will just be to the right of the circle at the same height. So we can just copy and paste this. So now what that's done is it's created the text and drawn it 10 units to the right of each point. So we basically use the X and Y scales to plot our circles and We've also done the same thing for the labels. So this should be everything for this challenge. So I'm going to try running the test now. Yeah, and that was perfect. 